All right, hello, my name is Andrew. Um, I am not an unboxer, so just keep that in mind. Uh, I'm doing this so that people can see what kind of case this is. Um, I do have my 3D printer running in the background, so if you hear some whiny noise, that is that. Um, so, after a year and a half of waiting, um, this case has finally came in. Obviously, you can see Thorzone Mjolnir case. This is the stealth or the uh, black um, version. I did sort of peek in because I wanted to make sure all the glass was still intact, and it looks like it is. Um, but otherwise, I haven't actually unboxed it yet. Um, but I said I'd do an unboxing video uh, to show my very first thoughts. Um, eventually, I will be doing a build in this. Um, but to give you a little bit of background, um, I originally backed this case on December 4th, 2019. Um, I was backer number 55. Um, I opted for the stealth case with the tempered glass windows and the performance panel. So it's a solid glass panel and then a slotted or perforated metal panel that goes on the side. Um, on December 28th, the campaign completed, although it was entirely funded in 11 minutes. Um, so it got funded really fast. But on December 28th, they withdrew the $404 that I paid for this case. Um, it is coming from overseas, so that included VAT and shipping and everything else like that. And um, this case was uh, expedited shipping. Um, Expedited shipping. So this actually came from China to here in Wisconsin in three business days? No, four. It was shipped on like Thursday or Friday last week, and it is Wednesday. So incredibly fast shipping, um, which is awesome because I didn't want to have to wait for this anymore. Um, but so on December 28th, their campaign completed, and... Uh, they started negotiations with the companies in China and stuff to start manufacturing processes. And then, of course, as we all know, COVID hit. Uh, and due to COVID, basically everything was shut down for eight months, nine months in China. Um, no, fan no manufacturing, no negotiations, no prototypes. I mean, nothing. Um, I have to give a big shout out to the, to, uh, the guys at Thorzone. Um, they provided constant updates. They let sh you know what was going on, if they reached out to the company, if they got any response back. Um, plus, during the whole time that they were down, instead of just sitting there twiddling their thumbs saying, hey, we have this case that all these people have paid for, we're just going to sit here and do nothing until we can get, you know, it produced, they made drastic changes to the case. Um, instead of making a three-part shell, it is now a solid shell, so the lines are much cleaner, they magnetize the windows and stuff, it's just, it, they made massive improvements, um, which made the, the quality that, that much better. Um, so huge shout out to them, um, obviously it's now been a year and a half since I've been waiting for this. Um, so anyways, let's just get to it and let's see what's in here. Again, I don't have a professional video setup or microphones. This is just sitting on my, or filming on my Samsung phone at 4K with some plastic mount that I 3D printed just to make sure I could kind of hold it and see what I'm doing. Um, so anyways, let's get into this. Um, so basically as soon as you open the box, you can see... If I move it closer, yeah, because of course my video setup is not good. Let me tilt it sideways. So basically, you get the, the case itself. There's two glass panels, um, unless it's the performance ones on the side. No, so yep, so you have two glass panels and then the Founders Edition panel, um, which is the one that you get with the, ki the original Kickstarter. Um, let me actually set my phone up a little bit lower and see if that will make a difference for the view. There we go. Yeah, we'll do that. Instead. So let's uh, let's take this out and see what we got. Let's try not to break anything. I'm already liking this. Uh, all right, let's see if there's anything else in the box. Okay, so we have the 
O2 panel, which actually came out really nice. Holy cow. Um, so this is an O2 panel. This is the filter that is part of the Kickstarter. Like, um, if they get so many people buying the case, you get the next step up, like a free thing. So this was one of them. And then you see here is the glass panel with the founder's logo um, that is only available to people who did the Kickstarter, um, the first set on the Kickstarter. Um, but let's carefully take this out. All right, so yeah, so better look at that. And they are they are thin. I'm going to sit those right on top of the box. And I don't know which ones I'm going to use um, in the case. So, quick rundown. The build I'm going to be doing this is a 5950X, which I already have. That's in my system that's in my bedroom over there. Uh, it's a 5950X. It's on a 121 or 120 millimeter all-in-one cooler at the moment. I don't know if I'm going to keep it that or if I'm going to go a small custom loop. I have designed something that would work in something so small. Um, it's going to be the Asus ROG Strix X or X570i Gaming. So it's an ITX motherboard, Asus. I have two 32 gig sticks running at 3600 CL16, so 64 gigs total. I have a 4 terabyte Gen 4 NVMe SSD. I was running dual SSDs, but I didn't like the RAID setup, so I opted for a single 4 terabyte. Um, it's going to be a Corsair SFX 850-watt uh, power supply. I do have a 750-watt in there right now powering everything, but I don't, I don't know if I'm going to switch it yet. We'll see. Um, and then at the moment, I have a 2070, but... My buddy has a couple extra Founder Edition 3080s because I'm not going to lie, he likes to scalp and that's what he did. But hey, he's going to give me one at MSRP cost, the original MSRP, not the bloated bullshit cost nowadays. Um, so if I can't get a hold of a 3080 Ti, which I'm going to go be lining down at Micro Center, hopefully tonight. Um, Although the lines probably already really long. But anyways, so that's going to be the system. Nice high power setup. This is a 9.7 liter case. Um, all right, so that's the bottom. So let's get this flipped up. Phones in. All right, so foams are out. It's actually decently well packaged. So... God, I almost wish I had gloves right now. It looks like we do have like a foot that came off, but I'm not worried about that. Or I thought it would be heavier, but it's actually decent. Let's throw that in the trash. All right, so. This is one of the performance panels. All the edges are beveled and everything. Wow, that finish is nuts. I know the camera's not going to do justice for that, even though it's at 4K, but that finish. Is... Oh, I'm going to get fingerprints all over this. I can already tell my hands are sweating because I get excited about this stuff. But oh, sit down off to the side. All right, so it did look like one of the magnets came off. Um, they said this might happen. They were testing a different glue. They said just to super glue it. So obviously that's the magnet that goes there. I have all sorts of adhesives, so I can attach that myself. That's not really much of an issue. Um, so let's uh, get the next panel out. Which should just be able to stick in and pop up. Let's see that. This one has all the magnets. God, that machining is nuts that is so nice 
And again, and what's nice is when they made all these cases, they, um, they did all the coating and anodizing at the same time to make sure that all these panels matched up perfectly with the cases, which is a huge thing for companies to do because a lot of companies don't do that. Um, see, there's another foot. I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to take a look. But oh, I can't wait to build this. I wake up at 4 a.m. when I go to work and I have plans tonight. So there's a good chance I just won't get any sleep tonight and I'll be building a computer. So again, perfect. And these are all swappable. So I could be putting this one on the other side. I could put, you know, the top and the bottom. Uh, the shell is reversible. So that's nice. Oh, actually, no, I don't want to do that. I'm going to put this back in here so I don't scratch the panels. Um... I'm going to turn the riser. Now, this is a Gen 3 riser, which I'm not too worried about. I'm probably going to run everything on Gen 3 anyways, just because there's no feasible difference between Gen 3 and Gen 4, at least as far as riser cards go. Um, but eventually, I'll probably get a riser card. All right, so I need a flat head or something. Here's a flat head. All right, so let's... Is this one too big? Nope. Perfect. Actually, a little too big. That's fine. Oh, that key is so nice. So solid. Oh. And the whole core just slides out. Holy cow. Oh, that looks so good right now. And what I like about this case, the reason that it sold me on it is there's no I.O. buttons. There's no USB 3.0 in the front. There's no, there's no power light. There's nothing. It's just a nice front case. And to give you a scale, um, of course, I don't have any soda bottles right now or anything like that. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, I got a Cam WD-40 sitting here. So, next to decently small can of WD-40. Um, yeah, it's, it's small. Um, actually, here, let me just go. I know something. I'll do it real quick. reference because I haven't had another case to use this is also an ITX case this is a Fantex something on I don't remember but yeah it's all the same hardware is going to fit in the case a third the size and it's really dusty it's a cheap case that I got for free or I just had laying around I don't honestly remember where I got it from and it's just been holding our hardware until this case came in but let's put all these panels back on. Actually, I'm going to put the glass panels on real quick. Let's do that. How do you open? Interesting, okay. So, let me just put this in here. Oh yeah, that just snaps into place perfectly. Oh. Okay. 
Oh, I'm gonna get fingerprints all over the windows, but I just don't care right now. Yeah, those are perfect fits. So this goes on the top. So obviously then here you have motherboard I.O., power, video card slot. It does only fit a two slot, um, which is why I'm hoping just to get a 3080 on that 3080 Ti and fit it in there. I was hoping for a 3090, but that's a little bit too much heat inside a case like this. There, so. Oh, that's gonna look so good once it has a build inside it. There's not gonna be RGB lights in this. So, no RGB. Pure stealth case. Yeah, I'm not getting any sleep tonight. This is gonna be awesome. Obviously, once I have a built, um, even when I have just the 2070 in here, I will get um, some pictures, maybe another video. Um, obviously I'll be posting temperatures. Um, I'm only going to be having two fans in this case. So it's going to be, if I use the all-in-one, the 121 or 120 millimeter all-in-one, um, it's going to have a Noctua AF12, the gray version, I believe, um, connected. It's going to be hard to see, but it's going to be that little gray fan right there. Um, I didn't see that really bad. But I'll have one on each side on the bottom and then I'll just force air up through the case. But anyways, I'm not gonna bore you guys with too much long video. This is so nice. I can't wait to build this. So once it's done, I will be posting pictures. I'll let you guys know how thermals work, especially with the 5950X and a uh, hopefully 3080 or 38 Ti, depending on which one I end up getting. And uh, we'll see how, how she works.